Well, hey there, welcome to the Movie Review Mom YouTube channel. I am the mom and I do the movie reviews. And today the film I'm reviewing is called Air. The sports drama was going to be released exclusively on Amazon Prime, but after enthusiastic test screens, they decided to also release it in select theaters for a short time. This movie is rated R and is an hour and 51 minutes. My movie review mom grade covers around an A minus B plus. So let me explain. I'm going to give you an overview in a nutshell, and then I'll point out things I liked and didn't like, as well as offer tips for parents, themes worth talking about, interesting lines, funny lines, if there are any, and recommendations for other films that are sort of similar that I think you'll also really like if you like this one. All right, ready to begin in a nutshell. The film shows the history and true story of Sonny Vaccaro, a shoe salesman who led Nike in its pursuit of the greatest athlete in the history of basketball, Michael Jordan. The crowd goes crazy. <laughs> the movie was directed by Ben Affleck with some writing help by Matt Damon and Alex Convery. Now, let me give you uh, some a list of things that I really liked about the movie. And first of all, I should preface it by saying my oldest son was a basketball player and he actually got to go to a Michael Jordan basketball camp back when we lived in California. At the end of the camp, this was the deal. The thing was all the kids would go out and buy a bunch of Michael Jordan merchandise and then get to personally meet Michael Jordan, and then have him sign it. And I thought that was really cool and also profitable for those kids. My son hung on to, he bought the jersey and spent a lot of his hard-earned money on that and held on to it for years and then sold it for a nice profit. He wanted to keep it, but he was in college and starving. No, he wasn't starving, but he anyway, he just decided to uh, make a little extra money. Anyway, that being said, Michael Jordan is a hero in our house. So back to the things that I like. <laughs> the inspirational movie was directed by Ben Affleck, as I mentioned, and he also stars in it. What a career he has had so far, and he just barely turned 50 years old. He's a really good actor, director, and a storyteller, as it turns out. So congrats and kudos to him. Michael Jordan wasn't directly involved in the movie. However, Ben Affleck consulted with him several times to ensure that the story was told accurately. Michael Jordan had two special requests of the director. One, that Viola Davis play his mother, and two, that Howard White also be included in the movie, and they are, and I love that. I also love that Ben Affleck included his longtime buddy, Matt Damon, in the movie. They both also serve as producers of the film. Matt Damon actually wore a fat suit in this role as Sonny Vaccaro, mostly to give him a big belly. He wasn't super fat. We're not talking, you know, like Brendan Fraser in the movie The Whale, just a little pooch. And it's mentioned a time or two in the movie. And he does an outstanding job. Both Ben Affleck and Matt Damon spent quite a bit of time rewriting the original screenplay. But due to some technical rules by the WGA, they weren't given writing credits on the film. Boo! This is their 20th movie collaboration together. That's amazing. Viola Davis and Julius Tenen, who are actually married in real life, play a married couple, Michael Jordan's parents in the movie. So I thought that that was really sweet. The fantastic cast also includes three Academy Award winners, Viola Davis, Matt Damon, and Ben Affleck. Amazing. The movie also includes Jason Bateman, Chris Messina, Gustav Skarsgård, Marlon Wayans, and Chris Tucker. Everyone did an excellent job in their roles. The movie credits open with a quick download of all the trending things that were happening in the 1980s, long before the word trending was a thing, by the way. 
Michael Jordan wore two different numbers on his jersey during his career, 45 and 23. So the movie Air was released on 4 5 23, April 5th, 23. Sweet. The fun soundtrack really took me back to the 80s. And in fact, Ben Affleck wanted to use even more epic songs of the day, but buying rights would have put him over budget. And actually, I was impressed that he didn't just say, who cares about the budget? Let's pay, buy, spend more money. <laughs> uh, you know, because he could personally have paid for all of that. But I mean, I don't know how much that stuff costs. But anyway, I was impressed that he wanted to stick to the budget. Everything is about branding these days. And this movie illustrates how a successful company took it to a whole other level uh, by branding Michael Jordan and specifically the shoe, the Air Jordan. I'm always fascinated to learn how legends are made and what contributed to a successful company or marketing campaign. There's lots of fun banter between characters and really it's the dialogue, the clever dialogue that drives the story. We get to see photos and images of all the real people involved in the true story at the very end of the movie. We also get to see some of Michael Jordan's magical moments in the air on the court. Now with all of that praise, there were just a few things that I didn't like or just thought could have been done better. For example, I thought it was kind of odd that Michael Jordan or even the actor who plays him isn't even in the script. We only see Michael Jordan played by a stand-in lookalike from behind in the movie. And it would have been nice to, you know, have him show up at the very end, give the audience a wink or a high five or something. I don't know. Honestly, and this is really the biggest thing why I didn't give it a solid A, a plus is because the whole movie kind of felt like a giant infomercial to buy Air Jordan shoes. It was kind of like the movie Tetris, where there's a lot of conversations about the legalese of buying the rights and outbidding or underpaying and copyright and blah, 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 you know, and how exciting can that be? Granted, the dialogue is good and it's well done. And that's what saves this movie, I think. So let me give you some tips for parents because there will be some kids who are basketball lovers who are going to be interested. Because of all of the legalese and, you know, the contract talk and all of that kind of stuff, some kids might actually be bored. They might think Michael Jordan's going to be in the movie. And like I said, he's not. There is some profanity and F-bombs. And there are some crude conversations, which is unfortunate because of those Two things specifically the movie is rated R. So let me give you some of the themes that are illustrated very well in the movie. They are vision, persistence, capitalism, and building relationships for business. And I thought that was an interesting element. So I always like to write down interesting lines in the movie so that you can kind of get a feel for the dialogue. And in this case, it's pretty important because that is what drives the story. Uh, I have all of the lines written on my moviereviewmom.com website, so you can check them out there, but I'll share a few of them with you right now. So uh, Phil Knight is the character that Ben Affleck plays, and honestly, he's not in the movie that much, but obviously he plays a very important personality in the film, and he says, the illusion is that the finish line is the destination. The act is actually the destination. And I thought that was interesting because a lot of the characters are talking about this finish line and some are willing to do it unscrupulously and others want to do it with integrity and full communication and transparency. And, you know, ultimately you can win or earn a bazillion dollars, but if you do it dishonestly, that's what you're going to be remembered for. And it's not all about the money or the fame. Anyway, another line that Phil Knight says is sometimes the most you can do is all you can do. And there's the back and forth of, is this going to work? Is it not going to work? And, you know, that's kind of fun because obviously, you know, it's going to happen, but it's still fun and interesting and you get carried away into it. So a really good line that is 
shared several times in the movie is first spoken by Sonny Vaccaro, played by Matt Damon. I am such a fan. He's so great. But anyway, he says to Michael Jordan's mom, trying to talk her into this deal, he says, a shoe is just a shoe until someone steps into it. And then it has meaning. And then later, Michael Jordan's mom reminds him that someone stepping into the Nike shoe is Michael Jordan. He needs more money and he deserves it because kind of a thing. Oh, here's the line that I was going to share earlier when I was talking about lines by Phil Knight. He says, you're remembered for the rules you break. Now that could be in a good way or a bad way. And then another line is spoken by Chris Messina. And he says, I don't have friends. I have clients. And he is all about the business as contrasted with Matt Damon's character, who, Sonny, who really wants to get to know the family and Michael Jordan's family and his mother and have a, an honest relationship and all of that. And that's not how Chris Messina's character works at all. And it's interesting what happens. And I don't want to give you any spoilers. All right. So let me give you some mm -hmm. recommendations for some other movies that I instantly thought of as I was watching this one and ones that you might enjoy as well. The first one, as I mentioned, was Tetris, mostly because it just came out. Also really great movie, but also gets bogged down just a little bit in all of the legalese and the contract law and all of that. But check it out if you like, you know, historical-ish movies. You know, they're loosely based on the true story. Another true story is called Moneyball. And uh, that one is just so great. Pacing is really great. There is some contract and legal stuff, but it just, uh, it, I think it flows faster than uh, both of these two movies. And then another really good heartfelt movie with Ben Affleck that came out, I think last year, maybe it was the year before. Time just flies by. I don't even know, but it seems like it was recent. Anyway, it's called The Way Back. And I thought Ben Affleck was just, just so powerful in it. I thought he did an excellent job. So check that one out. Again, I'm a fan. Have a fantastic day. That's it for my review. When you get a minute, hit that like button. And if you haven't already, subscribe. I really appreciate your support. I will catch you in the next movie review. Bye for now.